Hello, everybody. My name is Neil Amy. I'm the founder and CEO of Railbyte. Uh, I'm making this 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 quick setup guide for our our proxy extension. Something I'm really proud of of uh, the, 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 how how it functions and how slick it is. Um, this is available in Chrome and Firefox, and essentially does what the name implies. It allows you to switch your proxy your IP address to a proxy IP address. You can manage multiple profiles, as you can see, and it's pulled up on my screen, and use all kinds of different proxy types. Um, we don't restrict it to using Railbyte proxies, so feel free to use any proxy provider you want. Um, obviously, we'd like you to, wink, wink. Um, but we're here to help you in, in any case if you have any, you know, any struggles or, or troubles using the extension. So I'm just gonna show you real briefly just how it works. So. When you first start, you'll you'll set up a a proxy. Um, if you if you see this is a Railbyte proxy, we allow some other extra options here, where you can select the country uh, of a residential proxy, a rotating a rotating IP. Um, but this would be your residential proxy. Um, that's where you get those options, or you can say static, um, and then sticky sticky IP as well too. It keeps the or session keeps the same session the same IP if you're using residential proxies, which I'm pulling up here. Um, that lets you keep the the same IP on every request, or you can get a different IP on every request. I'm going to kind of show you how some of these things work um, here in a second. So, yeah, and then you just have your your proxy address, your port, your protocol, um, and then and if you're authenticated via IP, or if you have a user password that has to be passed, and then save your profile. And so here I'm going to show you. Um, I'm going to so I have one loaded up in here. Um, I won't sh share the the sensitive. Uh, user pass, but you can see we have things loaded up. I have it set to United States and then keep the same sticky. So when I turn on here, we go on. So you can see we're, we're turned on here. Um, this is what it looks like. It says on, and then I'm going to reload this page. And you can see my country, the country I live in, the Netherlands now. I used to live in the U.S. So you can see we have uh, United States of America with the residential IP address now. Um, I'm going to now show you. Let me change it. And we're going to just choose a different country. This is show you how it how it's to Vietnam, for example. Um, it's going to ask me to save. Yes, I want to save. Turn it on, and then we'll reload the page. And now you can view websites around the world from Vietnam. So you can see country name Vietnam, country code Vietnam, and it works as expected. That's using our residential proxies again. Uh, and that's that's what allows you to do that there. Um, so you can view content from all around the world with 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 that, that option by changing it around. Uh, same thing here, uh, we just have our like a regular static IP uh, that you can buy from us. Um, you can buy data center or ISP. If you need more higher quality IPs, you can buy our ISP product line, which is if you go to our site, hover here, that's your static ISP. They're like a residential proxy, but they're static and in a data center. Um, so they work for a lot of like big sites that you might, might, might need it on, and it's unlimited bandwidth. Residential proxies, you pay for this. Uh, for for bandwidth. So, anyways, um, I'm going to turn on the. I'll show you the the. You switch your profile to data center one, for example. Turn it on. You can see here's my static IP. The data center ends in two five one. Reloading the page, and you can see two five one. It works as expected. We'll turn it off. I have a different one loaded here. We we'll turn it on. And you can reload the page, and it works. Oh yeah, looks as expected, 234. So there, there you have it, uh, pretty basic, but straight to the point. Um, please, 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 please reach out at support at railbyte.com if you have any issues or have any feedback. Please, if, if you wanna see this improved, uh, just let us let us know. I, I, I'm personally gonna be reviewing all the feedback that we get, so uh, I would love to hear what you think. So thank you very much for trying it, appreciate it, bye-bye.